In today's video, we're gonna be going over 12 tips you should know about your Posca marker. Hey, we're gonna be going over 12 Posca marker tips. Okay, so the very first tip I wanna give you guys is activating the marker the correct way. I see a lot of people doing this all wrong. They're pressing down real hard, real fast to activate the marker. You do not have to do this. This is going to actually cause a big mess, especially where you plan on painting, drawing, or doing anything with the marker. The correct way of doing this is by gently pressing down and being patient. Just press down and wait for the paint to flow from the bottom of the marker all the way to the tip. Okay guys, the second tip I wanna give you is that please do not shake the marker without the cap on. Trust me, you're gonna make a huge mess. I've done this before. Please do not shake the marker without a cap on. Especially when you're trying to activate the marker, please do not do this, because as you see, I made a mess everywhere. In order to prevent this, all you have to do is make sure before you start drawing is make sure the cap is on and shake the marker, as so. Okay, so the next tip I wanna give you is please do not dip your Posca marker in water to clean it off. Please do not do this. This is not the correct way of doing it. What you really wanna do is take the tip out. Yes, you can take the tip out the markers, put it in some lukewarm water, and basically let it sit in there for two minutes, and then boom, look at there. You have a fresh, clean tip. And yes, you guys, after you clean it off, yes, the marker still works. All you have to do is activate it again. Okay, so the next tip I wanna give you is actually blending two colors together. We're actually gonna be doing this on a pair of Jordan 1 Lows. These are some Oh, Jordan 1 Lowe's. So basically the first thing I'm doing is I'm actually coloring in with this light green. We're gonna be using light green and we're gonna be using a darker green, all right? So the thing is when you're blending two colors, you do not want the paint to dry with one color and then blend it with another one. As you see, this does not work out and it does not fade properly. Okay, so the green is fully dry and now we're gonna do it with the dark green, but let me tell you, it does not blend together right. This is why you have to go in before it dries and then actually blend the colors together. So you really take one marker and then you do it with another marker. And I'll actually show you this real quick. Okay, so I actually flipped the shoe around. We're actually gonna do this the right way. We're gonna do this with yellow and orange because those two mix together well. So the first thing I wanna do is actually color the part. What I want is yellow, and then the other side, I'm gonna actually do orange. And then I'm gonna actually show you how to blend two colors together. Another small tip is you wanna take your time while you are actually painting on shoes or painting on anything. You wanna take your time with the markers. I only sped it up just due to the fact that it's a, this is a time lapse. Okay, immediately as I'm done with the yellow, I'm going in with the orange. Look, this is the thing when you are blending two colors, you just do not want them to dry. You wanna actually blend the colors while they are still kinda like wet. Another cool trick is basically you can go in with your yellow. You can go in one color and then kind of just like blend it in together. And then after you do one, then you can go back with another. Like I learned this trick through YouTube, just blending colors like how you do it with paint and it's easier to do it with markers. This is a little tedious, you guys, but it makes sure it comes out right. I mean, this looks really good blended together. I have to keep doing this over and over again. Like I said, it's a little tedious, but as you will see, it'll really start blending all together. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my hand got a little tired, but this is what it looks like. This is bad. Don't do it like this. Do it like this, where we flip the shoe over and then it's actually like, blend. as you can see, the orange goes into this like yellow. Okay, the next tip I wanna give you guys is basically when you are coloring, painting, doing anything with these markers, after you're done with them, please make sure you put the cap back on the marker, okay? Cause this, this was gonna happen. The marker is going to dry out. Trust me, this happened so many times and basically I did know the other tips early in the video, so I would just buy some new markers because I did not know like if the markers are dried out I did not know like you can actually like take it out put it in the water and then you know clean it that way I did not know that Okay, the next tip I want to give you guys is make sure if you are doing any type of drawings or any type of paints, please do not use light thin paper, like sketchbook paper. Please do not use this because basically what happen is when you paint with like thin paper, it's the paint's just gonna like go right through it. You need more of like a thicker, like a better type like canvas. Canvases are great. So this one right here, this drawing book, this one actually works really great. The paper is a lot more thicker and it actually holds up the possible markers. Okay guys, the next tip I wanna give you is that you can take the top off of these markers, but they are very hard to take off. You will actually need some pliers to take them off. But the cool thing is, is that you can honestly refill 
fill these up with paint, especially after you're done with all the paint that's already inside the market, which is so cool. The pliers make it very easy because without pliers, man, unless you're Superman, I don't know how you'll be able to take the top off. Okay, so you guys, another tip I wanna give you is that Posca markers come in many different sizes. This is the thing, I did not know Posca came out with different variations of these markers. So you have like a big jumbo one, you have a medium one, then you have like a small one, then you have a fine tip one. And this is the thing, I honestly wanna show you like, okay, so this is the thing, I actually wanna show you like how each one of these paint. So on your next project, you can actually know, okay, should I go with a bigger one? Should I go with a medium one? Should I go with a small one? But always make sure to have you a detailed one. Okay, so I'm gonna take each one and basically just draw a line across the paper so you can see just the different sizes of the markers. Like I said, I start off with the big one, the jumbo one, then the medium one, then it's like a smaller one, and then it's actually a smaller tip. And as you can see, basically the pink is hard to see, but you, as you can see, like these are the different sizes. So this really helps you out on the next project, you, project you're going to do. Okay, so the next tip I actually want to give you guys, please do not press down hard while you're drawing, painting, or customizing shoes. Because guess what happens is basically paint gets everywhere as you can see and it just throws it off. Like my first time using Posca markers, basically what happened was I kind of messed up what I was working on because I did not know how the markers were like operate or how they work. And basically is you just do not want to press down hard while painting, drawing, or doing any customization because it is going to throw the whole art project off as you can see. Okay, so like I was saying earlier with the other tip of taking the top off, basically is you can refill these markers back up with acrylic paint. And I'm about to actually show you what type of paint you need to be ordering from Amazon. I'm actually gonna throw up a screenshot right here. I wish I knew this earlier because I had kept buying Posca markers over and over and over again. Okay, another crucial tip I wanna give you is basically when you're customizing shoes or you're drawing or you're painting, I basically want to tell you is that you want to add a finisher to it at the end. But this is the very first thing you actually want it to dry, okay? So then you can actually use a satin finish, that's what usually I go with, or a matte finish. The satin finish actually gives it a, like a glossy type finish, which looks very, very good. Okay, so the very, very last tip I wanna give you today is basically outline your artwork with a black marker, okay? Sometimes a lot of y'all, this artwork is very good, it's only missing a black outline, okay? And basically you can get the black marker like with a pack or you can get it on Amazon. But as you see me doing this right now, it just looks so good adding the black lines. You have to go over it a little bit more and more. I gotta make them thicker here and there. But basically the black line makes your artwork look so much cooler. Look at Just look at these controllers that I'm doing, you know? I got this one with the flames and then I got another one with the drip. For some reason, you guys, this the black line just makes it look so much cooler and much more like eye catching, eye popping, you know. And I think when I was doing this stuff before, I used to be wondering like, why is why is it doesn't look right? Why what's missing? And the thing that was missing was actually going in with a black outline, you know, with most of my art. And it just like like I said, it makes it pop. It makes it do what it do. And this is just so cool, you guys, as far as just doing an outline on any type of like art project. But I know some of them, some projects that you do, you're not gonna really need an outline like this. But most projects I've seen where people customize controllers, shoes, uh, phone cases, anything like that, things of that nature, that they really go with a like an outline at the end. And then I actually seen some people would just outline without a black marker with another color that brings the whole custom together, you know? If you like today's video, go check out the Posca marker versus chalk markers. Which one is better to use to customize the paint? Go check that video out. With all that being said, this is your boy Xavier Kicks. Peace on the road to 500.